my channel. Today I have another video for you guys. This video is sponsored by So Silk Hair on AliExpress. I'm going to give you guys the full rundown. You should already know how this works. I'm going to tell you all the things I like about the hair, what I don't like, the pros and cons, you know, everything that you need to know if you're looking for some new hair. So let's just get on with the video. So first things first. Who's texting me? First things first, So Silk, their store on AliExpress. I'll probably have a screen recording of it. Who keeps texting me while I'm recording? Oh my god, I'm gonna kill everyone. So I'll probably have a screen recording of what their AliExpress store looks like on the screen, either here or there. I just want to give a little flip through and show you guys. They have various origins of hair, Brazilian, Peruvian, Malaysian, loose wave, deep wave, straight, body wave. They have lots of options and they do also have a small collection of wigs that they sell, like some bob style wigs. So if you're looking for a really affordable wig, you can go ahead and go over to their website and check out everything that they have to offer. They have have pretty much whatever you could be looking for as far as texture style length frontal closure they have it all so packaging how did the hair come I have a clip inserted or a picture inserted the hair came in this pink drawstring bag and all the bundles came in the standard you know separate packaging with the plastic packaging wrapped around in the bundle each bundle was labeled so that was really good and the frontal came in its own separate package and that was labeled as well and it took around two to three days to get to me but i was sent this hair for review so i'm not sure how it would differ with you know if you ordered it online but as soon as i got the tracking information it came about two to three days after that which is standard for any hair companies that ship hair using like fedex express or dhl or anything like that so the hair came pretty fast and the first thing that i noticed when i took it out of the package is that it had a smell and when I say a smell I don't mean a bad smell I just mean that it had like that that like packaged factory cardboard box kind of smell to it and it was stronger than other hairs that I had in the past but not to worry as soon as I washed the hair that smell came out it didn't last I guess it was just you know the plastic and everything that they used to package the hair like it just it gave the hair a smell that I wasn't really a fan of. But as soon as I washed it, the smell came out. After I washed the hair, I didn't really experience any shedding at all. And I did go ahead and bleach the frontal. That process went fine. The frontal took really well to the bleach. I didn't have any experiences where you bleach the frontal and the frontal starts falling apart. Or the lace turns orange or anything like that. The frontal bleached perfectly and if I have a clip or a picture I will insert it but I don't remember if I took one but I did bleach the frontal it took pretty well as you guys can see I don't have any concealer or anything in the part of this wig and I think it looks pretty pretty good considering I bleached it myself and I'm not an expert <laughs> so let's talk about the specs of the hair I have in three bundles of Brazilian body wave in 22 inches and I have a 20 inch frontal and this is how much hair you get I did not even use all of the bundles. I used about two and a half bundles and it looks really, really thick and the wig is laying really, really flat. Bundles were full, they were nice and thick. I didn't have any problem with them being too thin or running out of hair. So three bundles is definitely enough. And like I said, this is body wave hair. I just have it straightened right now and it looks really, really thick. So I'm really happy about the density of this wig and only needing to use two and a half bundles and it still looks really good because you guys know straight hair can look really really limp and just dead and just if it's not the right density so I'm happy with the two and a half bundles that I did use to achieve this look so after I bleached the frontal I made the wig I constructed the wig I split the wefts of every single bundle and I still did not experience any significant shedding and when I mean split the wefts I mean when you get a track, if you look at it really closely, you can tell that it's technically two really small tracks sewn together. So that one track that you get when you unravel the bundle can actually be split in half with either a scissor or a box cutter or whatever to kind of separate those two tracks from one another. And it just gives, it doubles the amount of hair that you have, sort of. But it doubles the amount of weft that you have so that the wig can lay super flat. And I got that idea from Arnell Armand, Alyssa Ashley's sister. And that's how I got this wig to lay super flat. I don't know if you guys can see. 
I don't braid my hair underneath my wigs. I literally put it in two ponytails, I cross them, and then I bobby pin the hair down super flat. And look how flat the hair is in the back. This wig doesn't look super bulky, and I think that's really because I split the tracks. So yeah, I didn't get any shedding from doing all of that, so that's really good. Normally, if you're cutting the tracks in, let alone splitting the wefts, you're going to get a lot of shedding, and I did not get that. So that is good. And that's a good sign. If the hair is not shedding when you're making the wig and when you're washing it and stuff, it's a pretty good indicator of how long it's going to last you. I've had hair that shed like a dog, and three weeks later, it looks like I have one bundle in my head as opposed to three. So this hair doesn't shed, and that's a really good sign. I know that a lot of people are afraid of buying hair on AliExpress because they've either had a bad experience with the vendor or they've heard horror stories and I definitely can relate to that emotion. You really have to pick and choose and do your research before you buy hair on AliExpress. It's normally being shipped from like China or something so you really don't know what you're getting until you order it so it's really important to do your research by watching videos like this one and other people to get a better idea if the hair is good quality and and I definitely think that this So Silk Brazilian Body Wave hair is worth the price. And I say that because if you go on their website and look at their prices, you might be like, how the hell is this hair so affordable? Like, why can I get 22 inch hair in a frontal for less than $130? Like, that's weird. I just wanted to give you guys a disclaimer that on the website it says closure, but in the picture it shows a frontal. It is, in fact, a frontal. It is not a closure. I don't know why that's there. I think it's a table. You would think that that's weird. And you would think that that's indicative of the quality of the hair because it's so low price. And it's definitely not the case with this hair. I would definitely say it is not some of, like, the best hair that I've tried, but it's not the worst, obviously. And it's really, really good quality hair for the price. I've been wearing this hair for about two and a half weeks now. I've washed it, I've curled it, I've washed it again, I've straightened it, I've blow dried it. I have done some wear and tear to this hair and I've been wearing it on and off. And the only thing that I can say about this hair is that the very first week I was obsessed. And obviously every hair is good the first week. It was just so buttery. I've never experienced hair like that in my life. And I normally don't wear my hair straight, but this hair, I really, really love. It was just buttery, silky, smooth. I'll insert any clips that I have of me from the hair from the first week. And I was obsessed with it. And obviously I knew as I wore it and continued to see how it went that the hair would begin to get less and less soft over time. And that's pretty much what has happened. If you guys can see, it still looks really healthy and shiny. It still has a lot of body and it just, it still is really soft, but it definitely feels nothing like it did when I first got it. It doesn't feel as buttery. I have been starting to experience a little bit of, I wouldn't say tangling, but snagging towards the back. And this hair doesn't have any product in it right now. And as you can see, I'm literally just brushing right through it. But I do from time to time get a little bit of snagging back there. I don't know what that's about. I don't know how that's going to progress over time. But right now, it's not really giving me any problems in... Whoops. But right now, it's not really giving me any problems in the tangling department. Just every once in a while, I'll get a snag or two in the back. And that could be attributed to the hair's length. I don't normally wear hair this long so I think that could be the case I don't think it's because the hair is bad but like I said I will be keeping you guys updated as I continue to wear this hair it's only been two and a half weeks so far and this is how the hair is holding up obviously it still looks amazing it has a really nice low luster so it's not super shiny I do have the teensiest bit of argan oil in this hair right now so that's giving it a nice natural glow but like I said that's one of the things that I didn't really like about this hair is that it's not as soft as it was when I first got it but at the same time that's to be expected but this hair was just like so super buttery when I first got it I was just like whoa if this stays like this that would be great obviously it didn't stay like that but that's not a deal breaker for me and as you guys can see it really does look good still you guys know whenever I'm doing a review I have to give you guys the honest opinion I'm not gonna leave out anything you know 
if the hair's quality changed over time, I want to let you guys know that so that you're not expecting like, oh my god, I love this hair, it's so soft, it's so silky, it's so amazing, buy it right now. And then when you buy it and you're like, where is the silk? Where is the silk? <laughs> Another thing about this hair that you guys should know before you get it is... It's Brazilian body wave and it's 22 inches so it is really long and I did try to curl it and I found that this hair didn't really hold a curl that well for me. The curls kind of fell and they didn't really stay super tight the way I wanted but I'll insert a clip because I do I think I have a clip from like Snapchat or something of how the hair looked after I curled it and it did give me really nice loose soft waves after the curls fell but I kind of wanted it to be a little more you know voluminous if you're gonna get this hair in hopes of wearing it like in warm curls all the time I would get the loose wave because it'll probably have a little bit more texture to it and be able to hold the curl better than the body wave because this hair is really fine. It kind of almost feels like straight hair, even though it's supposed to be body wave. So yeah, if you're looking for hair that you want to wear wand curled most of the time, I would definitely go for the loose wave or a texture like that that's a little bit more coarse and would probably hold a curl better. So far, the only cons that I really have about this hair is one, that it's not as soft as it was when I first got it, and two, is that it doesn't hold a curl that well. So those are really the only two things that I've seen so far in these first two and a half weeks, but the cons definitely do not outweigh the positives of this hair. It's really soft, it's really silky, it doesn't tangle, it doesn't shed, I don't really have any problems other than those two things. Check out my description box. I always have everything linked and described down below. So if you guys have any questions about this hair, the length, the style, the origin, the texture, blah, 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 I'll have it all listed below and I'll have the link to Soul Silk's vendor on AliExpress so that you guys can check it out if you're interested. I'll also have the price down below so that you guys can know how much it costs to achieve this look comment down below and let me know how do you guys like this hair i have been getting a lot of questions on it whenever i post it on my social media so i knew i had to do a review on this hair just to come and tell you guys how i felt about it and i'm kind of thinking about dyeing this hair let me know if you guys want to see this hair be a different color comment down below and let me know because i'm kind of addicted to changing hair colors lately so we'll see so i think that's everything let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it if you became part of the family. We are growing by the day. Don't be a part of the 90% of people who watch me and don't subscribe, okay? It's not fair. It's not nice. Why are you watching me and not subscribing? Like, I thought, I thought we were here. Like, I thought we were on the same page. Please subscribe, okay? Okay. So yeah, I'm really excited to keep cranking out the content for you guys. Let me know what you want to see down in the comments below, and I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.